Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. Uh, last show of the week, I'll be going to Corpus Christi for the Jared Anderson card. Uh, so that's fun stuff. Uh, but I wanted to get into one last one, get one last show for y'all this week, uh, and then we'll be back. Um, big fights next week, obviously. Uh, let's get into Jordan Gill and Zelfin Barrett, which I think is is the hardest call of the week and the most difficult call of the week. Uh, but this is um, this is a good fight. It's competitive, uh, and I think there's good money to be made on, on this fight. So we're calling a little upset here. Um, let's get into it. Jordan Gill, Zelfin Barrett, upset of the week. Um, let's start with Gill. Good, fluid athlete. Really good athlete. Coordinated, good hand-eye coordination. Pretty quick hands. Quick feet. Strong. He moves forward. He's a good athlete. He's strong. He's physically strong. There's a lot to like about him. Really snappy jab. Fires off good combinations. It's not one at a time. He throws in twos and threes. He mixes it up. Shots are, are clean, quick, straight. He, he uh Shots in the pocket, he, you know, he's straight, clean, accurate. There's not too much wasted motion. He doesn't wind up. He doesn't telegraph his punches. Everything is straight and accurate. Uh, it's crisp and clean. Stays behind a, high, a tight guard. He's not defensively sloppy. He's not an easy guy to hit. He's, he's a good little fighter. Um, he does have a tendency to get a little over-aggressive and a little wild at times. Um, he's got to stay disciplined because if he does it here, Zelda Barrett can, can kind of pot shot him and, and counter him to death. But he has high-level tools. Nice, like I said, nice, nice, nice stick. Nice, nice jab. He sticks it out there. Great footwork. Great movement. Good volume. Good combinations. Right, he's he's a really good offensive fighter. I like Jordan Gill. He's got better than adequate pop. I, I think his pop, his record doesn't indicate how good his power is. I'm not saying he's he's a terrific puncher, but he's got decent power. Throws in combinations. He's a good body puncher, and then the other end, he can make you miss. He's a good athlete. He can make you miss and counter you. He's good. He lands clean. He lands on the button, and I think that makes his power a little bit crisper, a little bit more powerful. Um, Zelpa Barrett, on the other hand, um, he's a mover. Zelpa Barrett is a mover. Guys, please hit the like button. Please hit the like button before we get into Zelpa Barrett. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Um, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Get to the lock of the week. It gets you uh, asked to book anything, ask me to break down any fight, handicap any fight. I'll do that. Ask me to make a video. I will make it. Also get a free t-shirt. All that's just $5 a month. Link is in the description. Um, join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Also, guys, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Help me out here. All right, let's get into Zelpa. Also, Texas Boxing Scene. Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene. Go to Autism Research and Recovery. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Texas boxing scene as well. That's on YouTube. All right. Zelper Barrett. Like we said, Jordan Gill is a good athlete. Um, Zelper Barrett's a better athlete. He uses the whole ring. He's a mover, a jabber, a back foot guy. He's constantly moving, going backwards. He fires off the off the back foot. He establishes himself and he'll plant his feet and throw, but he really doesn't like to come forward. He really does not want to come forward at all. Uh, he, there's not a whole lot of pop, but he does. He, there are, occasionally he will sit down and fire off some decent shots, uh, but mostly he's not sitting down on, on his shots. He's he's moving, he's moving, and he's never really planting his feet. Quick hands, impressive combinations, quick. He's the faster athlete. He's the better athlete. Although Gill is 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 a pretty good athlete and he's decently quick too. Zelda Barrett is kind of the next level when it comes to speed and athleticism. Really, really good movement. He's a really good counter punch. Like I said, if Gill does have that little tendency to get wild, and he can't do that, you know, when Gill is disciplined and he's fighting in the pocket, he's good. Just don't open up and throw those wide swinging, looping shots. Stay, stay in your pocket and chase him down. Um, 
We've seen it with Zelda Barrett before. He'll fade, he'll fade, he'll fade. He doesn't like pressure. And Jordan Gill is not a typical pressure body. You know, he's not Marcos Maidana, right? But he can put pressure on you. He can fight coming or going. He can fight off the front foot or off the back foot. He's more versatile than Jordan Gill. Um, Jordan Gill is just a back foot fighter. It's, I mean, I'm not degrading him. I'm not putting him down. That's what he is. There's one way he can win that fight. this fight. That's off the back foot. He's got a really, really good snappy jab. You know, in a lot of ways, this fight can come down to a battle of the jab. And, and this is a, a really good competitive fight. But can Gil cut the ring off on him? Um, you know, he, he Barrett can't come forward. Uh, can Gil trap him? Can, can Gil pressure him? Can Gil get, uh, get him to the body? He's a good body puncher and really start to slow him down. Also, Barrett throws almost all of his shots with his left hand. Take his left hand away from him. Now, that's easier said than done. He's, he's really quick. But Barrett, in a lot of ways, is, is a one-fisted fighter. So, um, you know, there's a blueprint here for Gil. I, I think Gil is the more versatile fighter. I think there's more paths to victory for Gil. This is an extremely close fight. Both of these fighters are a really good fighter. Both these fighters are knocking on the door of being world-class, world-level fighters. Uh, the winner here takes a major step forward, and I, I think this is a really close fight, and that's why it makes it so difficult. But let's pull up the odds. Let's take a look at the odds on this fight. Let's see how we're making money on this fight, because I really like this fight. So we're going to go over 9.5. I like the over in this fight uh, a lot. Um so a fifty dollar bet is gonna we're gonna do a half a bet on over nine and a half, and we're gonna take Jordan Gill by decision. Jordan Gill by decision is gonna be plus four fifty. Pays really well, really well. Um, if you wanted to take Jordan Gill on the money line, it's plus two hundred five. It's not a bad bet either. Um, Jordan Gill, I like Jordan Gill to win this fight. I don't see it not going the distance. If he loses, we're going to hedge that bet a little bit. We'll make our money back on the over because I definitely think this is going the over. Um, but we're going to do your half half a bet on the over and half your bet on the Jordan Gill by decision. If that hits, you're making $265 off that $100 bet. You turn that $100 bet into $365. So you're making $265. And I, I think... If you lose, this thing's going the distance. You basically made your money back. See what I'm saying? This is how you make money betting on sport of boxing. Best case scenario, you win 265. Worst case scenario, you, you basically break even. Let me know what you guys think. That's the bet. That was, uh, Jordan Gill by decision and over nine and a half. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Join the Patreon as well. Uh, link is in the description. It's also in that little banner down there. Uh, just $5 a month gets you all the perks. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, I do. We went 5-0 last week. Uh, we're going to go 5-0 and again this week. We really don't miss. Uh, join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Get that guaranteed money. It's just five dollars a month. Ask the bookie anything. Uh, it's it's all it's all set up for you. Uh, it is April twelfth now, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.